Hello. This is a video dedicated to scumbag men. Not even gonna call them men. They are not worthy of this title. I have zero tolerance for men who treat women with less than the dignity than they deserve. I was raised to be a gentleman. So when I hear women say all men are jerks, it enrages me and saddens me. But at the same time, I understand because there's an overabundance of fools who call themselves men. I have heard and I have witnessed in my life harassment and misconduct, and it's unacceptable. To those kinds of men, I ask, who raised you? What raised you? A garbage bag filled with toilet paper? What do you value? What kind of excuses do you make for this kind of pitiful behavior? The sun was in my eyes. This problem is not new, but oh, is it far from over. We got boys to raise. Being a man is quite simple. Respectful, responsible, grounded, as in a man and not a boy. That's it. That's it. That's it. Treating others like your equals. And obviously, that includes women. Really? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Just being noble, classy, you know? And I always thought that these standards I live by were simple standards, simple values. But it looks like standards are way down here. That's where it's going on. And this disgusts me. Disgusting. And this is still going on in many parts of the world. Just sexual misconduct, harassment, just predatory attitude. Like if you're flirting or showing interest, why do you have to be creepy? If you are in a relationship, why can't you listen to her needs, respect her, consider her? In what world is being caring not being a man? Huh? In what world? Huh? In Homo erectus land? Or you think being a man means she shuts up and obeys? I vomit on your face. Or men who just think that women come second, right? Whether they say it or just show it. Because of course, women are rational beings, of course, yes? Some man you are. And then they think that being tender and caring is being her bitch. Who told you treating women with dignity and treating a woman like a queen makes you a bitch? Are you stupid? Stupid? Stupid. That's the problem with your distorted idea about what it means to be a man. A real confident man doesn't look down on women. He treats them as equals. No Mark, women prefer a man who's dominant and assertive and imposes himself. Yes, being assertive and grounded is a quality women look for in a man. But that's because they're looking for someone who is an adult, a man who is grounded and responsible. As in he's not a childish boy. A real man balances assertiveness with gentleness, care, kindness. That's why they're called gentlemen. Because these traits are really what make a good father. Only insecure men think that you have to act like a tough Because they think they have to prove themselves to the world. That's what a child does. Or a scared animal. When an animal flexes and barks loud, it's because they're scared. Being assertive and confident is being relaxed. There lies the power. And in no way does this power feel the need to step on women's power. You see, I believe in human rights. And rights extend to both women and men. There is no excuse for sexual harassment. There is no excuse for behaving like a fool with women. You have no right. I have no right. This chair doesn't have a right. A real man who is powerful nourishes his woman's inner power. He doesn't starve it. Empowering your significant other. That's love. And the worst. The worst is when the man, no, no, no. When the male homo sapiens feels entitled to acting like a jerk with the woman. And he looks to his buddies for approval, you know, like, yeah, yeah, look at that bitch, yeah, jerk, scumbag. Where is your dignity? Where is the gentleman? And that stupid entitlement sometimes shows up in unconscious ways, like at the workplace, for example, with his stupid, inappropriate, unnecessary comment. Or with salary. My mother was a teacher for decades, and I discovered that women's salary was lower than that of men. Why, mother? Why? There is no answer. No reason. And then I hear girls and friends everywhere. Men are jerks. Men are scumbags. All guys do that. Who told you this is normal? These are not men. These are boys. Boy. Okay, they're irresponsible. They're still a child in the head. Immature with selfish tendencies and they run away from responsibility. In fact, I know kids who are more responsible. Being a man is simply being an adult in the head. It has nothing to do with muscle size. Anytime I was in a gym, looking tough. This is just the image that you're trying to project to convince others that you're a man. The five foot nine, 150 pound father who's dedicated to his wife and kids is more of a man than the big, tough, muscular guy who got his girlfriend pregnant and ran away. But hey, he's got big biceps. True power has nothing to prove. But when basic rights are being violated, 
then you have to stand up. Married men who feel justified in flirting with women just to see if they got game, you know? But who deep down have this deep desire to cheat, but they're not acting upon it because of some mental barriers that often go down when you're drunk. In vino veritas. And even if you're single, it's not an excuse to act like a dog. Have some self-respect and class. Another thing is intuition. I find some people tend to lack this natural intuition, being able to feel someone. Maybe it's the technology, maybe it's everything happening in the world that separated us from our inner selves, from our intuition. When you can feel someone and put yourself in their shoes, you're not gonna act like a jerk. And then you have men who treat women like they're helpless and weak, like she's three, you know? Or they don't take him seriously in a professional environment. What is it? What is this? this, this. You're not a gentleman. You're not even a man. Why is it that being a gentleman is considered like a myth, you know, like some, some legend from ancient times when men had noble values? Where are the men, the gentlemen, the men of honor, like modern knights with a set of principles? Make way for the men of honor. And the thing is, is that some societies and cultures encourage that behavior in men. Be a man, don't show your feelings, don't share, keep everything to yourself. And woman, shut up, stay on the side. Lovely, that's progress. I've seen families and relationships like that. It's dysfunctional, there's like this wall. Please people, do not accept, do not ignore or overlook this problem. It needs to be confronted, it needs to be brought to the surface. It's the only way to correct this wrong. And if you're a man and you're worried that we live in an age where if you say anything, you'll be accused of sexual harassment or misconduct, I tell you, if you're confident, if you're a gentleman, and you have a set of values, you're not gonna be worried about that. It's not complicated to be a gentleman. It's just a way of life. Don't be a pig, all right? I'm not a pig. I'm not perfect, but I'm not a pig. Then what are you, Mark? A lion. <coughs> Sorry, I had to do that. All that to say, I believe we are moving forward. We need to keep the standards high and we're forging a new generation. Now, please share this video. If you believe women need to be treated with dignity and men need to behave like gentlemen, share the hell out of this video. And don't forget to like and leave a comment. Share your experience. Let me know what you think about this. And subscribe for more Mark Talks, for comedy also, for entertainment and culture. Thank you for watching another Mark Hashim video and take care. Mm -hmm.